That dog needs less options. He needs less trees to go pee on. He needs less things to distract him. He needs less things to pull his attention and focus away from his job, which is go out and come back. There's no more value in doing a 30 yard retrieve than a 15 yard retrieve. It's just 15 more steps and it'll get the dog hotter in this conditions. The idea is not distance. We're not working on distance. We're working on out and back. I, to be honest with you, I'd be satisfied with a five yard retrieve in a day like today. It's, it's the concept that we're after. So he's distracted by Steph right off the bat. Heel. Now we're not going to throw it out, we're going to heal the dog out. Heal the dog out to the end. And that dummy should get put away. Because that just unlocked a little monster, right? It, it, that, that dummy coming out of the bag completely unraveled his heel work. Which it goes back to, you can't do a trailing memory if you can't do heel work. It makes the trailing memory really hard. Good. Heel. Good. Turn back around and you can send them right from there. Heel. Heel. Be ready everyone, just be ready. Good. Good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on, here. Ah, ah. Trigger, here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Trigger, come on. Here. Good boy. Heel. Heel. Come on. Here. Come here. Trigger. Heel. Good. Good. Hold. Good. Good. Dead. He, he would be one that I would work on. Dead. I think what I would do with him is I would put him in. I would, we're gonna, we'll talk about it. I want you to, we're gonna talk about building you a channel, okay? Chris Smith and I are gonna talk to you about it because Chris Smith did it with his dog. When I say building a channel, that dog needs less options. He needs less trees to go pee on. He needs less things to distract him. He needs less things to pull his attention and focus away from his job, which is go out and come back. And he's got it in him, it's clear. It's just, we need to minimize his opportunity. So like, I, w I like this mode strip as long as there's a chain link fence on both sides of it and a close at the end. Go out and come back. If you want to ping pong your ping pong along the way, that's fine. But that'll get real boring for him. So I want you to take her and I'm gonna take him and I want you to set up a trailing memory with her. And I want you to t show me, I want you to tell me what it feels like, the difference as far as like how enjoyable it is when you don't have to worry about heel, when you don't have to worry much about delivery, okay? I want you to, I want you to feel that. It's what those two guys just felt with their dog. You can slip it right, you can slip that right off the top. She's not going anywhere. Hey, hold on a second. Doesn't that feel nice to know? Then I'm not, and I'm not joking. I mean, to be able to just say, hey, take, take that off. She's not going anywhere, you're fine. Now get her back, get her back. And then just tell her hold.
So all you have to worry about there is, is you know, what's my next setup gonna look like, right? It's just real, it's just real free, it's a freeing feeling to not have to worry about it. But, but that all came not easily. It all, it came from so much of this, so much more of this than what he's seen, which is just standing here. Now the next session is gonna be very, very valuable denials for you. Because if you're willing to get through it, you'll be able to experience more of that. But it's gonna take, it's gonna be uncomfortable, it's gonna be awkward, it's gonna be a pain in the neck to get through. But it's, it's what will fix this. And it's what will allow you to go do the hunting stuff you wanna do. And enjoy it a lot more. That nose up if you can. So if he's, if he's just deciding to take you for a walk, then you just stop for a little bit until you can get what you need to get. There, you just turn the pressure off. Good. Take a step or two and then stop because it goes right to pressure again. And that'll just, that'll just wear away on this setup. Okay, go ahead and place your dummy. Now get where he's gonna be, because he's gotta be in the right spot. Do you want me to mark it now? Or, so I usually say his name when I throw it. But, or I say mark it. I mean, you can. You can. I, I, you're, you're setting a dummy out for him, however you do it. So your, your cue of market is no different than my watch. It's okay. exactly what I do, I just say watch. Yeah, and then I use his name to release him. Yep. No, 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 I didn't hear your name. <coughs> good boy, you're all right, good boy. Good boy. Slow down, slow down, there you go. Slow down, don't let him speed it up for you. You did a real, that was a very good change of pace on your part. You recognize his momentum and look at him now. He's feeding off of you. Get him out of your way. Walk right into him. He's decided that he's going to get in your way. Well, take another step. Hello. Good boy. Good boy, come on. Beautiful. Come on. Beautiful. Bring it right here. 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 Very good. Excellent. Good boy. Excellent. It's the happiest he's been in a while. Good. That was great. He gets he gets a hell of a lot of momentum coming back at him. So a nice spot to be would be up against a wall or a fence. That helps that helps slow him down. But there's no the, re, the only problem is is he's going past you so fast yeah. that's it's his momentum he got he got more momentum the second half of the run back than the first yeah. but he's a big boy and it takes him a while to get going but he lined out really nice uh -huh. and and imagine how much nicer that that is for you if we're not wrestling with heel work yeah. it becomes a lot easier yeah. that's a great little setup though your your routine is nice. It's a little different than mine, but it worked. It's it's been consistent. He responded to it. when you. What did you say to his name? When you, what did you say when you when you reached out? Did you say something to him? I just said his name. When you released him, though, right? Right. Yeah. But what did you say? Did you say anything before that? Because his head looked down, and then it went like this. And I thought you were going to send him when his head was going like this, and he never would have went down that channel. He'd have went this way, and you waited. And then his, he did lock down, and I don't know if he saw it or not, because that's a hard one for him to see. I'd go to a bright white dummy. Okay. It'll make life a lot easier for something like this when you help him with a mowed path and a white dummy. He's going to look down, and he's going to see it, and he's going to tell you I see it, because he's going to give you some type of a clue. I usually do them in the arena at home, so there's no... Sure. Dirt. Yeah. So you need to start doing it in areas outside of the arena, 
and replicating it five times in a row, five different locations, or else it's, we memorize it in one spot. Okay. So start, find yourself a fence line mm -hmm. that you can get backed up to, get yourself a lawnmower and mow yourself a strip. And then you can mow yourself a cross strip and you can mow yourself all sorts of stuff. But you gotta use edges because that, that's like giving a kid a ruler to draw a straight line. It's a lot easier than giving them a pencil and say, draw a straight line. Help there. Thank you. <laughs> Look at look at you right now. Look at me. Okay, good. Remember what that feels like right now. Because right now is about the feeling, the way you the way you're feeling right now, even when things aren't going great, laugh about it a little bit. Makes it easier. But when things are going good and you feel this feeling, remember what that's like because you're the one who held his lead the entire time and got some really good stuff out of it and you feel good about it.